Welcome back to Taffa. Definitely finding that these uh, masks are creepy, but well, we knew that from the one we saw. Hello, this is a library, I guess. Before I go in there, I just want to see what else is in this floor. Hello. Does that look like a secret door to you? That looks like a secret door to me. Although maybe not. Maybe this is just the ends of the wall. Because there wasn't, as far as I remember, a protrusion of the house. But it seems strange to have a little dead end bit of a hallway like that, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Seems strange to me. And this hallway is entirely blank. Okay. Let's check out the library then. Seems quiet up here. Alright, this is also so this is the other door that was locked before that yeah, we just got the library key, so uh, lots of books. Well there's more stuff down below to to look at. Nice spiral staircase. Got another guard going clockwise around here. I wonder if they open any of the doors and look in. Well, it wouldn't hurt to have a flash bomb ready just in case, would it? I can grab it quickly. What have we got? Excerpt from Compendium of the Supernatural World, Volume 3. Artifacts such as the Zenger Staff of Irandus, or the Etrin Faces, are amongst the most mysterious items of the ancient world. The Etrin Faces, or Masks of Etra, as they are commonly referred to, have been studied for decades, yet little is known about them. Believed to be relics used in a funeral ritual, the masks are said to contain souls of the dead. Their purpose beyond that, however, remains a mystery. Numerous doctors of ancient philosophy have investigated claims that the masks speak directly to the mind when in close proximity. Examinations have yet to yield any evidence of such claims at the time of this writing. Three masks were discovered in Etra in the year Ember 752, excavated within the ruins of a great hall on the Etran Peninsula. Originally displayed at the Windhelm Museum of History, the masks have since found their way into the possession of private collectors, such as uh, our friend Lord Buford. That, that's just a table, not a desk. Should be quiet. Don't know how much that guy can hear. Come on, lower, lower floor. Thank you. Another little opener. Okay. Just small books. torn, partially burnt page from a diary. My husband grows ever more distant with each passing day. The mask owns him now. It began as a simple infatuation with a prized ancient relic, but now it is an obsession. He spends all day in the study. He barely speaks to me, and when he does, it is always with anger and annoyance. I feel I have become merely an obstacle to his goals, whatever those are. Yesterday I entered the study to find the room in complete disarray. Archimedes flew into a rage at the sight of me. My husband had never raised his voice before, to me. I fear for his sanity. Oops. Stealing the thing accidentally triggered the uh, read again.
Well, this guy's happy humming to himself. He still has a creepy music though. Uh, and creepy ghost. Is that hostile? None of those are going to be any good against ghosts. You want me to read the book? A torn, partially burnt page folded inside the book. I fear for my life. Archimedes is beyond reason. Last night I confronted him about his manic reclusive behaviour and obsession with the mask. He flew into a tirade, screaming about how the mask is wise and the key to our prosperity. When I asked what that meant, he told me not to question him. He was angrier than I've ever seen him. What he said next chilled me to the bone. That he was the only reason that I still live, and that the mask had plans for me. I do not know if my husband has gone mad, or if that wretched mask is actually possessed like the legends say. Has it somehow wormed its way into his mind? All I know is that the man I knew is gone. I am no longer safe here. Oh. The ghost is gone. Terrible secrets. Terrible secrets. Oh, I was gone. Not quite gone. They're up there now. Right, let's go upstairs and see what the ghost wants now. Oh, there's another diary page. I'm sure that wasn't there before. Okay, I'll read this one too. I must leave tonight. I will tell no one. I must find a place where Archimedes cannot find me. My daughter Clara has thus far been ignored by her father's insanity. I hate the idea of leaving her here, but I believe her to be safe for the time being. Once I am settled, I will discreetly send for her and my nephew Thomas, who is staying with us. How it came to this, I cannot know. To fear the man I once loved is a terrible thing. I hear Archimedes calling for me. I must keep my wits about me. Okay, does sound rather like, uh, oh, hello. You've knocked over the lamp. Here I was trying to be stealthy and now everybody's gonna know that I've been here. Do you want me to do something with the lamp? Oh, you want me to do something with the clock? Oh! Now that you have discovered the truth, I can speak to you directly. My husband took my life as I feared he would. I was an obstacle to the will of the mask. The very mask I sense you are here to steal, thief. The mask corrupted my husband, turning him into its slave. The ballroom on the main floor has been converted into a mask repository. The masks within are replicas, created by my husband, each containing a soul from the original. If you have any decency in you, I must ask you a favor. There is a mask in the repository to which my soul is tethered. A desperate attempt on my husband's part to save me in the only way his corrupted mind could muster. You must destroy that mask. You will know it when you hear it. Only then will my soul be free. New objective. Shatter the mask that Lady Guinevere's soul is tethered to. The mask repository is a room on the main floor. I should guess is this floor? So what have we got? Library, bedroom, second floor, gallery. Ballroom key. Okay, so the, ball, the ballroom must have been converted. Uh, I'm sorry for... Oops. I'm sorry for uh, crawling all over your 
Your body there, Lady Guinevere. Well, I guess people are going to find more than just a knocked-down lamp. Uh, okay. This is how I explored the entire upper floor. I have... I have... Have I? Or is there another locked door? I don't know. What we'll do is... Uh, Take a look at this floor. Now there is a guard who wanders around, right? Indeed there is. Let's let him go about his business and then we'll kind of follow in his footsteps. I don't know where the ballroom is, but I guess we'll maybe find it. He might have a key as well. Is he going to turn around? No, he keeps going. Okay. Well, let's... Like a sitting room of some kind. Valuable platter. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I like that. Very nice. Physics. Say what you will about this uh, game. It definitely has better physics than the Dark Engine. But... Uh, Music room. Right, how many of these have we found so far? Wait, this one is the one he came and stood by the door of, is it not? Don't know whether he opens this door. We have four out of five. Oh, I'm so tired. You and me both, buddy. Yes, he opens the door. Tense music. Okay. I guess we're done in the music room. That's the library again, okay. So he heads around that way, so I guess we're gonna follow. Is that valuable? No, it's not. It's a very noisy floor. It's locked. This is going to be the library again, right? God is going to be here very soon. That door is obviously locked. Maybe that's the ballroom? What I want to see is if he has a key on him. You know, I could use a moss pod. Well, he's not going to stop, is he? He's going to stop. He's definitely got something on his belt there. Well, if you want, let me pickpocket you. Does he? I could have sworn he had... Uh... 
Oh, no! Not the mad guard physics again! This place is possessed. Could have sworn he had something on his belt, but maybe not. Looked like it. Something didn't drop. You know what? Let's leave him in the library. Oh, and the moss clears itself up too. You know, there's so many bodies in the library already, nobody's gonna mind one more. I think that's guard upstairs. Nope. So there's two guys patrolling around here, okay. Good to know, good to know. And the animation doesn't seem to happen in a distance, so it looks like he just walked right through the door. Hmm. Where is he going? Surely he's coming back out any any second now. Or not. Patience. Oh, hello. No, there's a sword there, right? Not a pouch. Just a good check. Okay, so he went... Yeah, it's just a sword. So this isn't just a dead-end room. So I guess he's still... patrolling. So... Guess he's probably also just patrolling clockwise. It's the front door. Yeah, oh no, it's the back door. Of course the front door would have the grand staircase. So where do these go? That's the area we were just in. Oh, and this is the kitchen. So, okay. At least... Uh, I guess that's the ballroom? I think we should go in there, but... He's a guard patrolling, and I feel like he's probably close by. So, oh, this is the dining room. Wait, did this guard come into the dining room? I don't remember. Well, there's something on their way. I can't wait for the end of my shift.
Sounds like they're just standing right here. I'm a little confused about the layout of this house, but uh guess we're in the west wing now, and the guard went... Oh, right, yeah, yeah. So this guard has gone off that way. Okay. So he seems to be doing a big lap around the house. I feel like he's the only guard left on the interior. Maybe there's another one upstairs. Okay. Oh, let's leave it open, I guess. So have I been in here? And I know I've got to go... Get the mask, right? Pool room, can I pick this one? I can. Oh, hello? That's the last of the uh, symphony recordings. Can I play ball? No. Purely decorative. Fair enough. Hello, what's this? Any valuable wine here? My favourite, yeah. Another goblet. I will gobble that. Spare cue ball. Come on. <laughs> you can aim. There we go. All right. walk down that way, right? Maybe I should just knock him out for uh, peace of mind. Oh, he's checking out the dining room. That's right, he does check out the dining room. Wish I could zoom in and see if he's got like a purse or anything. Alright, well, that's a good time. Let's go, let's go see if we can find and destroy the mask which the lady um, which holds Lady Guinevere's soul, right? We'll know it when we hear it. I don't know which one it is. Aha. This one sounds different. That one. No? How am I supposed to know which one it is? Uh, extinguisher bolt's not what I want anyway. Just 
two, the three that are high pitched. Maybe this one. Nope. We're just. I don't know how I'm supposed to destroy. Thank you, Fee. My soul is finally free. I have one last favor to ask of you. The gallery on the second floor contains the base, a larger, more powerful vessel within which the mask's souls now reside. The original mask in the study has been rendered a lifeless trinket. It is from that new vessel that these lesser masks are controlled. You must destroy the face. When you shattered my mask, you were imbued with some of its power. This will allow your weapons to harm the face. Destroy its eyes, and you will end this madness for good. Destroy its eyes, okay. <coughs> Oops, I fucked that up. So I haven't been to the... The guard comes this way. So I haven't been to the study, right? Okay. Destroy the face by damaging its eyes. There's also a key, which I guess the key in front of the face is the study key, which I'm going to need to steal the mask. He didn't hear anything. Okay, he, uh, <laughs> that's a little, a little odd, but you know it's fine. All right, just, just less problems. I need, to, I need to check if I've seen all these rooms. Oh, can I pick this one? I can. Okay. So it must be the gallery upstairs that I found, not the study, because the study is, um, that's not valuable, that's also not valuable, oh hello, is this the original painting? This is, there we go, the all in carriage painting. The Temple of Twilight. See, I came up here for these trinkets, but they're not valuable, but then I did not look to see the painting above the uh, doorway. More for me. All right, what have we got here? Goblet. Yes. All right, now I think with the guards kind of out of the way, I think I'll just kind of leave doors open. Okay, that's a mask room. Because that way I can look in and see what room it is, right? That's the library. Cool room. Dining room. Right, so everything down here is just a library. Okay, so we do need to go back upstairs. Can't remember if I left a guard of conscious up here. I think there was one in the red zone, right? Okay, this is where we came in, those bedrooms.
Okay, there's a guard. I think he walks up that way. I think the guard in the red zone we knock out, but not the guard in the blue zone. This is the library. It's the hallway, right? Runs around the library. Suspicious wall that is maybe not suspicious. Have I been here? Yes. Uh huh, bedroom, small library, right? Did I come in here? Yes, this is the nephew's room. main hall, so here we have the connection to the blue zone, where there's still one guard active. Well, I guess, seeing as we're here, we can uh, do what was asked of us, destroy its eyes. Just a key, the study key. How many two more keys we haven't got? Maybe this guard has one of them. I don't know where the study is. What's the guard room? Oh, this is this is the master bedroom, right? I don't know where this guard is, he says. The money owes me. Hey, hey. Hello? All right, well, you can just, you can just lie there. I need to find the study, you know, I don't want to be interrupted. This is the master bedroom, right? Because I've... Yeah. So I've been there. Been here. Oh, this must be... Hello, why is there a book here? That's... It's a bit random. Right, this is the study. There's a grate in front of that fireplace, so I can't crawl into it. Nothing on the mantle, it's very dark in here. First room has been super dark. There's the mask. Now, she said it was just an inert thing, right? But I'm not so sure I hear spooky music. I do not know the day or even month. The voices that come from the face now live in my mind. Guinevere is gone. The voices told me she would interfere, that she couldn't, that no one could understand their plan. She was my wife and I... I didn't want to do it, but what is the will of one man against the will of so many? I used the binding ritual on one of the replicas. Her body was still warm. I believe it worked. At least this way she will be with me still. The face does not know. Or perhaps it does. Either way, its will shall be done. Clara has left to look for her mother. I had told her that Guinevere had left me. It is better this way. 
By the time my daughter learns the truth, she will be far from here, and all this will be over. I fear what the face would have me do to her in time. Now to muster what is left of the man I was for this final ruse. I will travel to personally invite the other nobility from the city to the banquet. The lesser masks will take their vessels, and all will submit to the face. I only hope that the mask reserved for me is the one my beloved is bound to. Forgive me, Guinevere. For your sake, I wish I was a stronger willed man. It is the Mask of Etra. Objective complete. Last thing left, once all your objectives are complete, get back to the front gate to make your escape. Well, I don't suppose we're going to have too much trouble doing that. I suppose out the way we came in, right? Oh, somebody picked up the planks and stacked them neatly against the wall. Well, Lord Buford, uh, I'm afraid your plan has failed, the, mar the face is destroyed, the mask is gone. Sure, the other masks remain, but they're now worthless. They will just serve as a reminder of your sins. While well, I run away with 1500 loot, your entire music collection, and your spooky mask. Mission complete. Kills zero, knockouts five. Pockets picked one. I guess technically I only picked one before knocking people out. That's true. Bodies discovered zero. Secrets discovered three out of four. So I missed something. Ghosted. I'm not sure how you... Hmm. I guess nobody ever saw me enough to attack me. They only saw me enough to search. The servants certainly saw me enough to search for me. I missed 70 loot somewhere. It's not bad. All objectives complete. Alright. That was... Uh, Taffa, A Thief's Project by Drew Jalalawa. Uh, I will have to link to the uh, dreams in the description, to the dreams file thing, whatever you call it. But um, definitely one of the most unusual thief missions I've played in just in terms of the way it's been built. And uh, it's not, you know, it's got some rough corners for sure. That's not unexpected. It's a super impressive to have stealth systems that work that well. It did feel, it did have the Thief vibe playing that. Uh, even though, you know, guard interactions were clunky. Um, the audio is, is not propagating the way Thief audio should, but it doesn't matter. It's a super impressive piece of work. So uh, thanks for watching. I will see you here sometime for the next mission, which I'm sure will be back in the dark engine.